right, so we're starting our day. Today it is 8.20. We're going to head over to this truck stop I go to. Because i got to fill up this jug right here. I get free water, free ice, free drinks. I think I get free drinks. I don't remember if they're free or not. Because usually, I don't think they charge me. As long as I bought this big old jug right here, they'll let me use the fountain drinks. I get soda, water, ice, and all that good stuff. I don't eat breakfast. Eating breakfast just screws me up. I start to... Uh, let me turn this off <laughs> i got a little cb right here guys cb radio because i do drive on the interstate a lot and i figure why not um, talk to some truckers and speaking of truckers look at that nice cfi truck right there. that is nice it's a nice kenny there so we're gonna have to pull up with the uh, big boys, this is the big boys playground right here. Man, I just love semi trucks. International there, nice. Uh oh, I think we're gonna be stuck. Nice Peterbilt over there. I like the uh, classic Peterbilts, those are my favorite. This is a uh, Kenworth right here, classic. Like it, love it, love it nice there's a seem that that seems like the uh the kenworth trucks are the uh they look like they're the one of the popper ones that i've seen a lot on the road and that i see a lot here at the truck stop so that was the only way we could go in was through the uh truck area so Sorry truckers if I'm getting in your way, but I'm trying my best not to be in your way. Let's go ahead and get out of y'all's way now. All right, so we got loves here. I'm gonna get me some water. It's either gonna be water or Gatorade and um, maybe a couple of bananas. I stopped eating breakfast just because it's it just messes up with my, I just feel sick after eating breakfast I, I, my breakfast of choice was burritos love me some burritos but unfortunately i can't do burritos anymore so i guess we'll pull up straight ahead after we let this construction tr uh, truck passes by look for pedestrians we don't want to run over anybody let's i don't want to park here because i'm not going to um uh, less than a quarter tank i better fuel up okay let's go ahead and fuel up now i gotta f find a spot i could pull in i'm so used to having my trailer I, I usually have my trailer 24 7 and i'm driving around like i got a trailer attached which i don't because i got a storage unit yesterday so it feels kind of weird not having the trailer attached at this moment. We're gonna put some gas, fill that big old jug, get a couple of bananas. Then I'm gonna go get my trailer and we're gonna go ahead and start with our day. I'll bring you along with my mowing experience. We got uh, some vitamin water, which by the way was not free. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but they uh, actually charged me $1.49 to refill this thing, which is, I guess, is better than paying, I think it's like, what, two bucks, maybe two something for a large. It was a different lady. Usually, when I roll through, the lady's like, oh, go ahead, you're good. Is Did you buy one of them from us? And I was like, yeah. I guess it just de depends on who's, uh, who's working there. Sometimes they'll charge me, sometimes they won't. Another beverage I got is a uh, NOS. I remember back in high school, I remember drinking these and uh, they were actually pretty good. I think I liked these better than Red Bulls back in the day, actually. Red Bulls just makes you, uh, makes makes my joints hurt for some reason. Uh, let's see if this has bad stuff in it. It probably does. Sugars, 51 grams. See, that's, I don't know, that's a lot of sugar for me, to be honest with you. I probably shouldn't be drinking this. 
and I've also been testing my sugar. My, my sugar's been pretty good. The other day, I think my sugar dropped really low to where I started shaking and I just felt heated up. I was sweating. Didn't feel good. So I bought me a, a sugar monitor or whatever you call it where you prick your finger and you put it on the machine on the strip and it'll read your sugar. As of July 20th, 2022, the gas here in Texas, $3.81. Seems like it's going down, thank you Jesus. It's actually a pretty nice day, no receipt. I don't need no receipt. There's Carl's Jr. I think I've tried their food once. To me, it's like a glorified, um, what's that little taco joint? Everybody loves it. They have the little tacos. Wow, my mind just went blank. You guys let me know in the comments. It's just a glorified. Man, I forgot that taco place. Anyways, let's go ahead and fill up. And I'll be right back. We're at 43. Let's go ahead and try one of these bananas. Oh man, and these bananas look good too. Mm-hmm. Good potassium for the body. I don't know what potassium does. I'm not a biologist. I'm not a doctor. Potassium has to be good, right? Oh, some nice sand trucks going up there. Got a couple of sand trucks. Oil filled, perhaps. We're at 73, $73. I, see. Oh my gosh. 76.82. That is ridiculous. All right, I'm gonna shut this camera down. I'm gonna cry a little bit. And uh, let's go get my trailer. 10 four. Pulling up. Pulling up. Uh oh. Are we stuck? Hopefully, we'll be able to get around the uh, go go movers here. Oh yeah, we got we got plenty of space. No worries, no worries. Watch it, go go movers. Don't want to run over ya. Definitely don't want to run over y'all guys. Hopefully my trailer is still here. I've been been worried worried because the last time I had my trailer parked at a uh, storage unit it got stolen but I found it back we got it back it's back right on up got her all nice and loaded actually we're not loaded I still got to go put my equipment in there 
a lot of steps, but I have to do this unless I had my own yard or something where I could just keep everything secured, but I don't. Speaking of uh, loaded, what do y'all guys think about NOS? Let's crack this baby open. Let's see what. Uh... So we got vitamin B12. That's got to be good, right? We got uh, Turing. I don't know what that is. Caffeine. Enol Sittle. Sittle. Oh, we got some uh, CB chatter. Vitamin B6. That's got to be good. Guarana. Go ahead and uh, take a sip. Cheers. Oh man, that's good stuff. High performance energy, that's what we need. Enhanced mental focus. Let's see if we got any CB radio chatter. Breaker 1-9 for radio check. Breaker 1-9 for radio check. I read you loud clear. Appreciate it, thank you. Nice. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's stop trying to act, let's stop trying to be a wannabe trucker. On the road again. Like a band of gypsies on the road again. Can't wait to get back on the road again. Gotta get my lawn equipment and put it on the road again. Now I gotta go home, get all the equipment, put it back in the trailer. I know guys, it, it's a lot of steps. It's a lot of work. For me, it's for security purposes, all right? For security purposes. Come on guys, don't judge me. Uh oh, let's pull over. Pull over, let the emergency vehicles go by, and now we can proceed. Looks like we got some chatter on the radio. Let's listen. There, there's a lot of trash on the on the radio, but for the most part, it's a very handy tool. Let's go, let's go, Breaker One Nine One Nine. Yeah, buddy, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna go to this one property, which I wasn't able to do their backyard. They were on vacation, so of course the back gate was locked. I did mow their front yard, and I told the uh, the owners that if I could mow their backyard sometime this week, and they said they're back from vacation, go ahead and come today let's take care of that backyard now this backyard grows super fast and it has to be push mode which you know it's understandable a lot of these homes here they're new built homes they have small gates so I'm not able to get my riding mower through the back so I have to push mow and a lot of their backyards are I want to say they're medium to large I am medium but the thing is, uh, this particular house, they have a swimming pool, an above ground swimming pool, which uh, takes a little bit more time to, to mow. So hopefully the gate is unlocked and it is unlocked. Awesome, there we go. I don't, oh yeah, let's see, oh wow, that's overgrown, okay. No problem. Just make sure all the toys are up. Yes. Okay. We'll be back to get our push mower. And we'll be good to knock that backyard out. Yeah, this grass hasn't been growing much. So we don't have to touch the front yard because I did that last week. Get our hearing protection on. Use a push mower. You can use a Honda 20 inch. Actually, uh, I'd like to read it first just because there is a lot of uh, edging or weed eating to do. And I'd rather. Uh, mulch up the clippings after I weed eat so because if I mow it's going to look really nice and then all of a sudden whenever I start weed eating the longer grass is just going to kind of lay on top of the 
nicely perfect freshly cut lawn and it just looks this doesn't look too good actually let's let's see if we can take this and actually take the blower too oh yeah let's go ahead and take everything all at once that way we don't have to come back back and forth back and forth let's try to be efficient So I believe we have, yeah, we should be fueled up with all of these. So. All right, so let's put the backpack on. It's like a one man van type of thing here. Okay. Let's crank this up. Prop this door open with the uh, I guess the backpack wall. Since we're gonna use the weed eater first. Back wall with that bad boy. Let's get started. This is gonna be a fun one. Wow, there's a toad. There's a froggy. You need a go, frog, because I don't want to get, I don't want to. You need a go. Go. There you go. Go up there. Perfect. Perfect.
I gotta make sure the truck is locked. Frog, you still down there? Yep, still down there. Stay out of the way, Froggy. I already, uh, sad to say, but I killed a uh, baby rabbit the other day. It was hiding in the grass, tall grass. And, uh, didn't see the baby rabbit. And I hit him with the weed eater. Sad day. Okay, good, it's locked. Trailer and equipment. I don't know if that'll ever go away, having that feeling, but, oh man. Maybe I shouldn't stress out too much about that. So it looks like, I wonder if they got koi fishes here. Let's see. I don't see any koi fish. Nice little pond though, I like it.
that, that was a lot of work. Look at that, see, overgrown, lots of grass clippings, long grass clippings, like this right here. That's why I wanted a weedy first. Of course, we got all these toys and trash we got to worry about as well. All right, I got to get me something to drink. Get me some NOS. No, I better drink some water. Let's drink water first. Let's see my vitamin water. Is it the frog still there? Yeah, the frog is still there chilling. Please chill there till I get done, okay? I'll let you know.
don't close on me. I'm gonna use a steel BR700. We're gonna disperse all the clumps and clean off the, the uh, patio. There you go overgrown backyard with a pool awesome i think we're good i think that was a solid video and uh we'll see you on the next one peace out